Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. We are doing a walkthrough of my new five below. Uh, they have the t-shirt separated by season, it looks like to me. So these are all going to be, I think, like Halloween trendy or seasonal. Maybe stuff they don't carry all the time because there is a whole nother t-shirt section. Um, from what I understand, the sizes go up to an extra large. These are some fleece blankets. Not comfortable. I didn't like them at all, but they would be great for pets. Um, they've got a bunch of fun candies, and they always have good candy. That was a gummy mummy, and I just thought it was hysterical. Um, looks like I'm going a little too fast. That's some organic candy. Now, at the front of the store, most of the stuff is still $5. So they had some pet costumes and jackets. Um, that is all they had for their section of like Halloween and fall. This little tiny bit. I'm not sure if that's going to be their new thing. But I love cutting boards. I'm not sure what my obsession is. And that's a gourd. Oh, my gourd, it's fall. <laughs> oh, I didn't get one, but this, like you can see, this stuff is all $5. Um, and, yep, yeah, oops, more t-shirts over here. I've got to practice my walkthroughs. I'm obsessed with this shirt, and if you hold on, I have a better view. Um, my store doesn't have it in my size, which I would need an extra large. They only had one large, but I need this shirt. If anybody sees it, I'll pay you. Um, this is all kind of kawaii stuff and Japanese anime, I think. Like these are books. And then they have up here, you're going to see uh, how to doodle, which I thought was so fun. If you have somebody who is into drawing and doodling, that's a fun book. Obviously a lot of Hello Kitty. And some, um, this is a friend's little backpack, which I think is hysterical. Stuff that I don't even know what half of these brands are because I'm old, but whatever. I think this is fantastic for Christmas gifts. These are some more t-shirts. And then they had like slippers, which are very comfortable feeling. I don't, I didn't put them on. And these are also still $5 which I think is pretty cool. Um, I believe my store has always had the shoes, but we're gonna be coming up on a section that they really, really expanded here in a minute. These are just some more slipper socks, $5. I'm sure you can get them at Kohl's for the same price around Christmas time, but these are nice and fuzzy. And then they have over here, um, some hair ties and clips, and then this was some um, fun looking stuff, scarves, hats, little bags, mostly hats, um, like toboggan type hats. Um, some of the clothing, I don't know that I would wear the clothing, I don't think the quality is there. Now I would definitely wear the t-shirts. Um, this is their t-shirt wall that they've always had. At my store, it has been moved to a whole nother direction or section. These hats are cute. That was great quality. And they're a knockoff of another brand that I see at Hobby Lobby for like $14.99. And these were only $5. And I think they're pretty darn fantastic. Now, they only had the black and gray. And I almost got one. But I have so many hats. Uh, fake nails. These are just different stickers and nail sets. And I ended up picking up this set that I'm going to show you. These are Kiss brand nails. $5 is not bad. I get them at um, like Marshall TJ Maxx for around the same price. But these had the leopard print on them. And I thought they were totes adorable. So we grabbed those for me to have. I like doing my nails. I don't mind press-ons at all. Uh, this was the clearance section of the summer shoes, sandals. These are like croc type shoes, you know, that lightweight foam. These are like your fake Birkenstocks. I mean, they're all super cute. And they were half price, so they would have been like, what, $250? Because I believe they were all $5. Uh, back to the t-shirt wall. I was trying to dodge people while I was shopping and going through the store and trying to get some footage for you. Uh, if you've got young women or women in your life, these are makeup brushes, and they, they look like they were pretty decent quality. Also, you know, great stocking stuffers, gift ideas. Those are your brush holders. And then there's like three or four aisles of just beauty and health and beauty aids. Um, this was some like travel size stuff for your luggage or not, you know, just depending what you need it for. 
Over here is all kinds of massage stuff, face wipes. I'm really impressed how they upped their game. That over there on the left is a package of face masks. And then that's essential oils, bath, bath bombs, body scrubs. I mean, this stuff is all pretty decent. I think it would fare quality-wise to some other brands. Um, these are some lights and makeup boxes. Again, I think your 20-somethings and under would, like, love this stuff. A bunch of hair product, like brushes, combs, mirrors, hair clips. I'm having coffee. Surprise! Um... Yeah, I mean, these all look decent brand. Much more of a selection than I've seen at some other stores. Uh, but they did redo mine. And then this is like your makeup, palettes, and body scrubs. And I think this is all the time stuff. Where at Kohl's or Walmart, you may only see this stuff around Christmas time when they're putting out the gift boxes. But I believe this is an all the time thing here. Uh, more makeup over here. Face makeup, eyelashes, nail wraps, nail polish. I mean, I just think this place is fun. I don't often shop here, and I'm not sure why. This is all the pet, regular pet stuff that they have, pet jackets and beds. And now we're getting to the back of the store, which is definitely not five below. I mean, I think I saw things upwards of $25, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, but this is, you know, your pet stuff. Here's some home decor. I was dodging a family at this point. But I think this stuff is super cute. And I know it turns over pretty fast. So they, they're always bringing in new product. Um, this stuff is $5.25. These things are $15. That's a rolling cart that you can build. Which, I mean, this is great stuff. But I think Target has one similarly priced. Uh, that is a garment rack with shoe rack. And then we're getting into electronic stuff um, for gaming, headphones, keyboards. I did pick up over here around the corner. I got a, a new tripod to try out for my desk. My other one broke. I'm always buying cheap tripods for travel and on the go because they get broken so easy. Um, these little rugs I used to pay $5 for, so they're up to $5.95. And again, it's five, I think it's called Five Below Beyond. Now this section over here is fitness, um, workout clothing, and a lot, now we're back to mostly $5 over in this corner. Because they do have the store kind of broken up into sections. For that, those are some fun little candies that they had just on an end cap. Uh, fitness socks. Fitness clothing. Again, those look like a little better quality. Tons and tons of water bottles of all varieties and sizes. And these are all just empty water bottles. Yoga mats for $5. That's a fantastic deal. Um, and then I picked up these. These are cork balls. You can rub them under your foot, on your muscles. Um, they're great if you have plantar fasciitis or you're trying to avoid it. And they come in three sizes for $5. So I picked that up. Uh, my feet get sore after working football and all of that jazz. And then I wanted to see what that was. I picked it up. It looks like you roll your spine on it or like your shins to get those muscles that are on either side of a bone. Pretty interesting. I thought so. Anyway, I do go put everything back after I'm done with the section. This is journals, pens, artwork art supplies, and they had some interesting pens. They had some name brands. They had some not name brands. The one pen I'm going to show you is for calligraphy. It's fountain pens, pencils. There's your Ticonderogas. These are made out of like wheat, some type of wheat byproduct. The pen, so it's biodegradable, which I thought was very interesting. Just all kinds of fun office supplies. Again, would make fantastic stocking stuffers. That's the fountain pens, which I find interesting. I did learn on Claire from Nowhere's TikTok in France, children write their first pens are calligraphy pens or fountain pens. I'm sorry. Dry erase markers, markers. Those little boxes were fun. Uh, that holiday cheer is 24 days. I'll show, tell you in a second. These are little post-it notes for like your journal. That one was just do water. That's for assignments or 
appointments. That one's fitness, and you can mark them off daily. That's another water and exercise, and they were a do they're a dollar a piece. I may go back and get some. Um, so this holiday cheer and kindness, there's 24 cards, and it gives you ideas of what you could do every day up to Christmas to do something kind for people or find your calm. This one I may go back and get for a gift for somebody, and it's just calming. And then the book section, I feel like this is the end for me, and they had a lot of astrology and what's your sign and divining and throwing things out the laws of attraction i really found it interesting there's a tara book in there um this one is cooking so it's like oh luna's here like a divination cookbook i just thought they were pretty cool and for five dollars ma'am ma'am we're, we're reading here um this one is how to read tarot cards which i thought was fun and then i think i was done shopping so I hope you enjoyed. I have to practice my walkthroughs, but you have a great day. Bye.